Let me start off. <laughs> Let me start off. <laughs> they thought they got rid of us. Mm -hmm. We wasn't allowed to tell the truth. Thanks. We wasn't allowed to say certain things. Talk to him. Let me do this again. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> This summer has been a myth. It's been a myth. <laughs> it's been a myth. <laughs> I can't lie to you. It's been it's been a myth. Okay, but you know what? You what? Mean? We're back. That's a fact. We're back. You already know what time there's, it is. There's so <laughs> yeah. there's so much. There, there's so much that we've got to save. Man, to I don't understand you, why this it had to get this way. But you know what? We're back. Like topic time took a little small break. Yeah, it's something like it's like it's like summer break. You dig? We had to give season one, in my opinion, was a success. I ain't gonna hold you. I feel like we touched on some necessary topics, both in terms of like music, culture, relationships to a certain extent. But I mean, like, truthfully, dog, you know, you take a little step back and then reassess and move forward. That's the way I look at things. Nah, bro, I'm gonna keep it 100. There was so much trash that was happening over the summer, bro. <laughs> there was so much. Do you know what it is? It was more. I, I was mixing my personal with the brand. Okay. And I, I shouldn't you. have been mixing the personal with the brand. And I feel you. It's like after after thinking about it, whatever. If you if you look at the scene, mm -hmm. one of the reasons I started the brand was because it someone needs to do it and there needs to be yeah. a platform here where people can see certain things. Mm -hmm. And I shouldn't be, you know, but that's always the case usually. It's 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 weird, but but we're here, 2024. Yeah. Soon going into 2025. Yeah, man, this year went by quick. I ain't gonna hold oh, you, Oh, there man. was a few things. Like, in terms of music in the city, there wasn't much, if I keep it 100 with you. It was a quiet year. It was a very quiet Lotus year. Lotus Chrome has the best project out of 2024. Yeah, I hear, I hear a lot of people saying that, man. Yeah, they she's say got the best very... project. She knows what she's doing. Yep. Talk to me, unit. Uh, money on top of me. What? Yeah, so you're man, not even I, listening, bro. Nah, this is, I what keep game. I keep game. I be seeing these like, things, bro. There's people here. Um, what's that? What's his name, bro? I'm waiting for Manny. Manny? Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna hold Manny you. There's a bro. few. I feel there's a few artists. It's essential we hear from within the next like mm. three to four months. To be honest with you, dog. Like, like there's a few artists. I I think Manny's one of them. Yeah. No question. We gotta hear from T. The kid T. The kid T is gonna drop. Uh, bro, he gotta. He, he, it better. All I know is that shit better be crazy. Like he took, he been took be, a little bro. minute off. Yeah. Nah, T T. Again, no one's. T has got the best videos out of Calgary. Easy money, easy money. Easy. Yeah. And he's rap. Yeah, he's that's rap, a fact. Rap. That's a fact. I can't wait for his that's project. I need to hear something from him. Yeah, man. I don't know. I've been hearing the little things. He showed me a couple, a couple records, and I ain't gonna lie. Like his the production he taps in with is always top tier. Yeah. Like everything sounds like it could be like a movie soundtrack. All right. Who else is there then? That's just, who else is Manny? Like I said, Manny definitely got to drop something. Yeah. Kid T definitely got to drop something. I ain't going to lie, bro. I want to see what young Poppy Bonito Talib's son does. Like I need him to, to get back to like how we can bar shit up. Because I see he's been a little experimental as of late. I want to see mm. him like bar shit up for real, oh, for real. But at rap, the rap. same time, he like I've heard him make like impeccable records with like great technical lyricism as well. So it's yeah. like you got to find that balance between making a good song, but also demonstrating that you can, like you got a solid pen. Well, we can rap. I give that to him. But this is the thing. It's like, it's what we said to him before. We know he's a good artist. Mm -hmm. We just need to see more from him. Facts. And it's like, again, it's getting back to the essence of rap, mm -hmm. you know? It's like one of the things we said over the weekend, we just had the YYC Music Awards yeah. 2024. Yeah, Actually, a good event. It was put on, put on pretty well. Yeah, man, I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, that was the very first Calgary Music Awards I've been to, to be honest with you, dog. And I was like, it's, they, it's a well put together presentation. I will mm -hmm. say that much. So congratulations to everyone, but obviously home team, Riz. Yeah, yeah. Had to get My the man award. Took the dub, yeah. It, it, both of them as well. Yeah, man. Yeah. Video of the year, rap recording of the year. Big salute. That shit crazy. Bro, it, had to, bro, it, it didn't. You know what? This is this is where I know that people might, you know, take my opinion mm -hmm. a bit differently. But you know what? Okay. Just take it how you want to take it. All right. But Riz and K the Chosen, it's like it. It was two projects against three singles. Yeah, to me, it's a strange concept. Like, they don't differentiate between 
album of the year, like song of the year. It's yeah, just, that's what I was because it's the just is. rap recording, and they they take albums and singles as submission. To me, it's a little strange to be yeah, honest. Because the thing is, don't get me wrong, Tiny Wings, uh, K, T, Fanny, um, Riz. They're all great artists in their own right itself. Mm -hmm. It was just, I just didn't get how it was two projects against three singles. Yeah, I feel you. You, you understand what I mean? Yeah. But you know what? Hopefully in the next coming years, yeah, things get corrected, things change, you know, we yeah. get to see different things. But it was a really, really good show. I'll give that. And as usual, they know how to control the crowd. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Especially if you have a live band performing, yeah. like it just... I don't know, to me, like live music just enables people to be more engaged with it because it's like more lively than if it's just played off a DJ controller, you know? Although I love, me, I love a DJ, especially one that can scratch, mm -hmm. but, you know, sometimes you need that different element when you're performing. But saying that as well, when it comes to the performance, yeah, people, again, there was a, this is a debate that we can have. Mm -hmm. Again, I understand we're in Calgary and we can't have certain conversations it's a little too pc here to me but like for instance about four or five months ago there was a big big convo in the uk in regards to performances and artists just literally coming on and walking back and forth mm -hmm. and uh it's not to say it's bad if that's if that's how you perform that's how you perform but when people come out for you they want to see something extra that's why yeah. when i see riz's shows and he's got everyone clapping yeah, instantly and fact. he's interacting it's an interactive show that's yeah. why having a live band also works as well you, mm -hmm. you understand what i mean but performances yeah i would like to see you know the performance game just level up just a little bit yeah. you know i see it man in all honesty doug i feel like there's certain things that are available at certain stages, you know what I mean? In yeah. terms of like venue or in terms of what place in your career you're at, yeah. you know? So I think they're gonna allow for more of a, um, an engaging performance at an award show like that, especially one that's funded so well, it's organized well. Mm -hmm. They're going to have the potential for you to put on a good show because they need that for the viewing audience, you know? Mm -hmm. Number one. Number two, I think that I don't know, to a certain extent, man, to me it seems that they don't really understand hip hop over at the YYC Awards, mm -hmm. you know? No way. And I, I think it's part of Calgary culture too, or, you know, some might, see, some might say a lack of culture, to be honest with you, because I think that, I don't know, to me they look at hip hop as something like that's just on the side, we'll give it a few minutes here and there. But at the end of the day, it's, one, what's bringing a lot of people out. And two, it's something that, you know, isn't just like a sideshow. It's like the biggest, it's the biggest genre in the world. And even if they claim that the numbers are falling off a bit, yeah, it's like at the end of the day, if you peep game, like the, everybody in every genre, whether it's, whether it's a Latin music, mm. whether it's music from overseas in Europe and things of that nature, they're all rapping. But this is the thing, when it comes to hip hop, like we've said before, that guy's fire. But oh, um, basically, when it comes to hip hop itself, yeah, one of the things that I noticed, and I did say this as well, the whole hip hop community that we see, the Lotus Chromes, that, you know, we, we have a lot of people here. Yeah. Why was they not at the award show? Yeah, that's a fact, very underrepresented there. Like, I thought I was going to see more people tap I, in. I thought I would have saw a whole load of people from yeah. our sort of demographic, I our culture. Bro, it would have been fire if you just had a bunch of, like, of the artists from Calgary actually mm -hmm. mobbing out at the YYC Hip Hop Awards. Because, I mean, you see people from every genre, EDM, country, rock, indie. Country, rock, and folk showed out this year. Yeah, always, Easy. bro. It's Calgary money. Like, Easy. It's, that's just how it is here. But bro. why can't we show out? I think one, there's not enough of an interaction between the rest of the music community in Calgary, the so-called arts community and mm -hmm. the hip hop community. I don't think that those things are too congruent. And then on top of that, it seems as though like with regard to, with regard to music in general here, it's just underfunded and under, under promoted as well. Like there's a lot of things that you don't know about until it happens. Yeah. Yeah, but then that, again, that comes down to the people. Yeah, you got to make yourself informed. That's a fact. No, but who's doing, who's doing it? I see what you're saying. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, you look at, we've, we've always said this, 
you go to America, you have the shade bar, the shade room, mm-hmm. you have all of the world star, you have yeah. so much information available. Uh, the UK, Shade Borough, uh, UK Gossip TV, made you think. You go to Toronto, Six Buzz. Mm-hmm, six Buzz. Uh, you go to, um, I, forget, I, don't, I don't know if it's Vancouver or Edmonton, but they have Cap City. I think that's Edmonton. Edmonton, yeah. Mistake. They all have something to showcase what's yeah. happening and whatnot. Yeah. I just find that, you know, unless, unless you're getting paid, people don't want to do anything. Yeah, I mean, that is a motivating factor for some people. But to me, it's like if you understand hip hop culture and you're part of the culture, you would do this shit even if you weren't getting paid for it. But we've, we've spoken about this because if that's the case, people would be writing lyrics to write lyrics. Facts. And not just yeah. write lyrics for, for a song. Yeah, that's real. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the care. It's like we've always said it. The care, this, 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 that. But when we talk about this, we get called the Joe Buddins. Mm. We get called the haters or whatnot, but you know what it is? It all just kind of ties back into one thing, which is this PC culture. Yeah, you can't man. talk about nothing, bro. We yeah. can't, we can't. You can't offend people. You can't even be honest. Yeah. And I think, in all honesty, dog, I think people are just looking for a reason to be offended at this point, to be bro, honest with bro, you. Bro, I genuinely feel like people wake up in the morning and it's like, what can we, what, what, what? cause can we join Facts. just to just jump you know on. just to jump on yeah. you don't care at all <laughs> but you, but you want to jump on it but you know that's the thing like in calgary especially it's such a corporate culture that nobody wants to either lose corporate sponsorship mm. or they want to lose they don't want to lose opportunities to be in certain spaces and shake certain hands so because of that, they pretend like they all think the same way. When in actuality, everybody has differing perspectives. Mm-hmm. Everybody has differing ideals. Everybody has different morals. But nobody wants to speak their peace or as people like to call it, live their truth. Because like nine times out of 10, people are just trying to mimic whatever they think is going to be, you know, the correct move for the moment, yeah. so to speak. Bro, even to the point that, we done the previous episode and we, we spoke about different topics, whatever. Mm-hmm. I, f- I genuinely forgot what episode it was. But instantly, without watching the full episode, these guys are misogynist. Yeah, that's and what I'm like, wait, hold up. And this is this is how you know th- the world is a bit different now. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're a misogynist. I'm now asking you, oh, explain how so I can learn. They don't want to explain. They're just throwing terminology yeah, and it's like the key terms. It's of the, phrasing, of the bro. That's a fact. It's-